laziness. Now, is that, is that an emotion or is that a habit? Okay, I, it might be both. Um, the emotion that leads to the habit of laziness might be a feeling of incompetence. Okay, and so how do you, how do you stop feeling incompetent? Well, you take a baby step toward being more competent, right? So the, the four-stage process of developing mastery starts with this stage that we call unconscious incompetence. And sloth and laziness is, a, is essentially the zone of unconscious incompetence. You're, you're incompetent about a task or a series of skills or you know, dominating a, a something, like maybe seal fit training, let's just say, and yet you're kind of unconscious about it, and so you don't do anything about it. And then, you know, for a great example of this, then you, you finally decide, okay, I'm going to get up off my butt and go do something about it. Or maybe your father, you know, or mother or girlfriend, you know, enrolls you in Kokoro Camp or, or in Silfin Academy. And you, you're like reluctantly or you're like, okay, I'll go do this, not knowing what's going to happen. And you step foot on the grinder and bam, suddenly you are aware of your incompetence, Right. And so you go from unconscious incompetence to conscious incompetence. And you're like, holy crap. Six hours later, you're on the sidelines. You know, you couldn't do it. You, didn't ha you couldn't handle the load. You couldn't handle the duration. And you didn't belong there. And that's great. You know what I mean? And, and the coaches are right there behind you saying, you know what, Fred or Sue, you learned an incredibly valuable lesson. And, and you took an incredibly bold move even to get six hours into this training. 99.999% of the population would never do that. So that is your first building block to developing the mental and moral courage to take the next step, right? And then so what you do is you go back to your home and you're like, crap, I've got to start training. I mean, I learned all this. Now I'm going to, I'm going to get into the seal fit training. We're going to join a CrossFit gym. And you start building the skills, the knowledge, and the competency. So you move from, you've not, gone from unconscious competence to conscious incompetence to conscious competence, and so maybe you spend six months to a year training and you set a goal to come back to Kokoro to prove yourself again. You've gone from conscious competence or incompetence to conscious competence and you're developing courage and you're developing confidence and you've gotten yourself out of the lazy cycle and into a motivating cycle. And these become spirals of you know, uh, success. The more you do things that motivate you, that, that you know, prove that you can instead of you can't, then you, you desire more. That's called embracing the suck. You desire more and more and more because you enjoy the results that it brings. And so you just commit to training. It doesn't, don't think about the workouts. Just commit to going to the freaking CrossFit gym three to four times a week. That's it. Once you get there, the coaches, the environment, your teammate, and you will take care of the rest. But you got to commit to getting out of, the, you know, out of the office, out of the house, and to the gym or to that daily training. Remember I said at the beginning, training Eating and sleeping are your three pillars, right? You do all those well, you'll never be lazy for the rest of your life, okay? And then the last stage, you come to Kokoro, you kick ass, you take names, high five at the end, your life is forever changed, and you move into the realm of unconscious competence, which is where mastery is found.